I'd like to welcome you all to the Local Buyer Pre-Tender Briefing on how to tender for local buy arrangements. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we work and live and recognise their continuing connection to land, water and community. We pay respect to Elders past, present and emerging. Local Buy has hundreds of different buyers across Queensland, the Northern Territory and Tasmania, including government entities and other large buyers. Our arrangements enable councils and government authorities to purchase a broad range of products and services from pre-qualified and preferred suppliers without needing to undertake a tender process or request multiple quotes. So where does your business fit? Well, to have a look at a full list of all the local buy arrangements, please use the QR code on your screen now. Contract conditions. General conditions of contract or GCCs, which sets out the conditions for the relationship between local buy and you, the supplier, appointed to this LGA arrangement. The default purchaser conditions of contract or PCCs sets out the default conditions for the relationship between the purchaser and their selected supplier engaged through this LGA arrangement. Negotiated amendments. Purchasers should be aware that some suppliers have negotiated amendments to the standard GCC and default PCC documents. Where applicable, the amended documents are shown on the supplier's vendor panel page. Alternative PCCs. Purchasers may utilise an alternative set of PCCs subject to approval by both parties. Suppliers should be provided with the alternative PCCs as part of the request for quote documents. Pricing. Tenderers are required to submit pricing for their products and services with their tender submission. You must complete the price schedule template provided. In addition to completing the mandatory price schedule template, you may also provide your own pricing document, which may provide further details. All prices submitted are fixed and firm and not subject to rise for the initial three months of the contract term. Any variations to the pricing schedule shall be as per the provisions of the GCCs. All prices submitted shall be the best possible pricing. Purchasers may elect to negotiate prices down directly with the supplier for package deals based on their specific requirements. Purchasers will document all specific requirements in their RFQ documentation when issuing to selected suppliers. This allows suppliers to provide competitive and accurate pricing. Quality Assurance WHS and Environmental Suppliers must provide details of their management systems in relation to quality assurance, workplace health and safety and environmental. Certification by a qualified third party to ISO or AS slash NZS is highly desirable, although not a mandatory requirement. Demonstrated evidence of internal management systems may also be acceptable. Membership of an industry body or association relevant to their services will be highly regarded. Insurance. Public liability insurance is set at 20 million. Professional indemnity insurance is 2 million per event. And product liability insurance is 10 million. Requirements may vary from arrangement to arrangement. Contract management fees. A small fee averaging 1.5% is applicable to all work gained through a local buyer arrangement and it can vary from about 0.75 to a maximum of 2%. Verification fees. Once approved, all local buyer suppliers must pay a small annual verification fee. New suppliers must pay an initial verification fee of $500 in the first year, followed by an annual verification fee of $250 in each subsequent year. New suppliers must pay their fee before they are appointed to a local buy arrangement. Local buyer's fee structure is set out in Schedule A of the GCCs. There is a verification fee exemption. If you are a small business with less than 20 full-time employees and less than $2 million in annual turnover, an Indigenous-owned business, registered charity or social enterprise. 
New suppliers will indicate their eligibility for an exemption at the time of tendering and are required to submit a signed declaration. So I'm sure you're wondering now how to get started. Step one, register in Vendor Panel. Vendor Panel is an online electronic RFQ system accessible through Local Buy by both suppliers and purchasers. This is where councils and other approved buyers will engage with you for work. Once registered, you will then appear in Vendor Panel Marketplace. Please note, Vendor Panel Marketplace is not local buy and is not a pre-qualified list of suppliers. Marketplace is essentially a yellow pages of suppliers where anyone can be listed and no due diligence is applied. Any business can create a vendor panel profile, but it doesn't mean that you're engaged by local government. Unless you engage under a local buyer arrangement, buyers are not covered by the GCCs or the legislation exemption. Vendor panel will notify you when local buyer releases tenders and when councils engage you for work under a local buy arrangement. Step two, register in APET. 360. APET 360 is an electronic tender platform. This is where you will eventually complete your tender to join a local buy arrangement. Registering with APET 360 is completely free. Step three, complete your tender in APET 360. APET 360 will only open on the first day of the arrangement cycle. You will be unable to start your tender before this date. You can edit your submission at any time until the tender closing date, which is the last day of the month at 2 p.m. Brisbane time. These tenders are valid up to nine years, which means that you probably won't need to use APET 360 again for some time unless you want to join a new arrangement. Make sure you give yourself enough time to complete the tender and remember to answer all questions in full and supply all supporting documents. From the time that tenders open until you are appointed, you must not make direct contact with the category manager. Questions relating to the tender must go through the APET 360's online messaging function, which will be answered by the relevant category manager. The messaging function will close 24 hours prior to the tender closing time, so please don't leave your tender until the last minute. The evaluation period. So once the applications have closed, please allow eight weeks for us to evaluate your tender submission. By the end of those eight weeks, you will have received an email from APET 360 notifying you of the outcome. Until then, please keep an eye on your inbox as you might receive emails regarding addendums, passwords and other general notifications. You may need to check your spam folder also. Things to remember. Your vendor panel registration is not your tender submission. APET 360 will open on the first day of the arrangement cycle only. Give yourself enough time to complete your tender. Complete all questions in full and supply all supporting documents as identified. You can edit your submission at any time, even if completed, until the tender closing date, which is on the last day of the month at 2 p.m. Brisbane time. There will be no extensions granted for any reasons. Also, keep an eye out for emails from notifications at APET Software and remember to check your spam folder. Reach out to your local buy customer relationship managers, Audrey Jo Bell, who looks after North Queensland and Northern Territory, or Liz McFarlane, who looks after South Queensland and Tasmania. And of course, visit the Local Buy website for more information at localbuyactive.com.au.